a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Maria Elena Holly Maria Elena Holly is the widow of rock and roll pioneer Buddy Holly. She owns the rights to his name, image, trademarks, and other intellectual property. In 2010, Santiago Holly co-founded, with Peter Bradley, the Buddy Holly Educational Foundation, also known as Tubhef. Early Years Santiago Holly was born in San Juan, Puerto Rico. Maria Elena's mother died when she was 12 years old. In 1953, her father sent her to live with her aunt in New York City. Santiago worked as a receptionist for music publisher Peer Music. As a receptionist Maria Elena probably first met Buddy in August 1957 when as rising stars he and the Crickets first visited Peer Southern Music in the Brill Building at 1619 Broadway to meet their publishing manager Murray Deutsch who was Maria's boss. Then a day or so before Thursday, June 19, 1958, when he recorded early in the morning in New York's Pythian Temple, Buddy asked her out. Santiago had never been out on a date, and told Holly he would have to ask her aunt for permission. Holly promptly got her aunt's permission. Five hours into their first date, Buddy handed the rose to Maria and asked her to marry him. Married Life On August 15, 1958, Less than two months later, they were married in Buddy's hometown of Lubbock, Texas. They settled down in Lubbock until Buddy broke up with his band, The Crickets, and they moved to New York. Santiago Holly went on one tour with her husband and took on promotional duties. Buddy Holly also formed the Maria Music Publishing Company with which, Stay Close to Me, was filed. Holly produced Lou Gordano's version of the song which was issued on Brunswick 55,115 on January 27, 1959. In the early morning hours of February 3, 1959, Buddy Holly was on tour when he, together with Richie Valens and the Big Bopper, died in an aeroplane crash. Holly and Santiago had been married for only six months at the time of his death. She learned of his death from the reports on television. A widow after only six months of marriage, she suffered a miscarriage shortly after, reportedly due to psychological trauma. Buddy was interred in Lubbock. Santiago Holly did not attend the funeral and has never visited the grave site. She told the Avalanche Journal, in a way, I blame myself. I was not feeling well when he left. I was two weeks pregnant, and I wanted Buddy to stay with me, but he had scheduled that tour. It was the only time I wasn't with him. And I blame myself, because I know that. If only I had gone along, Buddy never would have gotten into that airplane. Following the miscarriage suffered by Santiago Holly, and the circumstances in which she was informed of his death, a policy was later adopted by authorities not to disclose victims' names until after their families have been informed. Later Years Santiago Holly eventually remarried and had three children. Now divorced. She is a grandmother living in Dallas, Texas, and promotes her first husband's legacy. In 1989, the Smithereens paid honor to her with the song, Maria Elena, on their album 11. Actress Maria Richwine played Santiago Holly's role in the 1978 movie The Buddy Holly Story. Jill Hennessy portrayed her in the Broadway production of Buddy the Buddy Holly Story. Santiago Holly has spent most of her life protecting Buddy Holly's legacy. She controversially wanted to charge the city of Lubbock to use Buddy's name in various ways, including in relation to a music festival, a street named the Buddy Holly Walk of Fame, and a terrace named Buddy Holly Terrace. In 2008, Santiago Holly threatened legal action against Peggy Sue Geron, the subject of the song, Peggy Sue, after the publication of Geron's autobiography Whatever Happened to Peggy Sue? While visiting New York City in May 2008, Santiago Holly visited Washington Square Park, where Holly often played his guitar. She observed musicians singing there, and later told the Avalanche Journal. She also visited the apartment building where she and Holly had lived. Santiago Holly remarked it was the first time she had been back to the building since Holly's death. The Buddy Holly Educational Foundation In 2010, Santiago Holly co-founded, with Peter Bradley, the Buddy Holly Educational Foundation. 
The Foundation is a charitable corporation whose mission is to keep Buddy Holly's legacy alive by providing musical education to new generations regardless of income, ethnicity or educational limitations. Among the areas in the musical education provided are songwriting, production, arranging, orchestration, and performance education. The Buddy Holly Educational Foundation co-hosts worldwide songwriting retreats with Chris Difford. They are organized by Peter Bradley Jr., board director of the Buddy Holly Educational Foundation. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries. Would you like to know more?